Oh, with a nightmare Airbnb story, a couple finding hidden cameras in a house they were renting. Now all new at five, an Indiana couple visiting Florida's West Coast got a frightening surprise recently at an Airbnb property they were renting. It started when they noticed something strange about one of the bedrooms smoke detectors. Airbnb is tackling privacy concerns this morning after several customers found hidden cameras at their rental properties. The company told CBS News it takes privacy extremely seriously. Hi everybody, this is Fox Nomad, and today I want to help you travel smarter by unboxing and showing you how to set up the McHugh Anti-Spy Hidden Bug Detector. Now you've probably seen a lot of stories online about there being hidden cameras and hidden microphones detected in Airbnbs and hotel rooms are obviously not immune either. So if you really want to do a thorough bug sweep of an Airbnb or a place that you're renting or staying, then a bug detector is going to be a critical part of your toolkit. So there are a lot of anti-bug detectors that you can find online. The McHugh is the least expensive, most effective one. It's about $25. Um, they go up in price from there. They go up to 200, couple hundred, couple thousand dollars. But I'm guessing chances are you're not going to spend that much money on a bug detector tool unless you're a pro. So I wanted to unbox the McHugh and show you what comes in the box, how it works and some basic setup. So in the next video I do, I'm going to do a complete bug sweep of an apartment so you can see how you would use the McHugh in a full bug sweep so that you can be sure that there are no hidden cameras in your Airbnb or your hotel room. But I wanted to show you how the McHugh bug sweep tool works so you can get familiar with it. It's not the most intuitive device to use, but once you know how to use it, it's pretty easy to use. So here you are, this is the unboxing and the setup of the McHugh anti-spy hidden camera detector. So inside the box, the CC308 Plus all around bug detector is pretty simple. It has the bug detector here, which has four indicator lights on the front, a small compass, as well as a look through hole so you can find hidden cameras. On the side, it has a sensitivity setting as well as an on off button for sound as well as vibration and a small place for the rechargeable plug. On the back, you have the lasers which are used to illuminate any hidden camera lenses. The McKay also comes with headphones, so if you want to use headphones while you're bug sweeping, as well as this rechargeable cable. There are also these set of instructions which are pretty spartan, but I think will give you a good idea of how to use this device. Once you get the hang of it, it's pretty easy to use, but here, let me show you some of the basics so you have a better idea of how to get started. So let's break this down into the two main functions of this device. The first is radio wave detection, and the second is looking for hidden cameras. Let's start with the radio wave detection. Basically what you're trying to do with this mode is see if there are any transmitting wireless devices or perhaps hidden wires behind the walls or places that you can't see easily. The range is 5 centimeters to 10 meters, and what these indicator lights do on the front is the more indicator lights or the louder the noise like this, the closer and stronger the signal is to you. Now the way you want to start this off is by being toward the center of a room and having it on very high sensitivity. If it's going to be too loud for you, you can use the vibrate mode or the headphones. Now when it's this sensitive and the antenna is fully out, it's going to pick up a lot of things. As soon as you notice the indicators getting more active, louder, or vibrating more, you want to head toward the direction that's setting off the detector. As you get closer to the source of the radio waves, you want to turn the sensitivity down just a little bit, as well as retract the antenna a little bit. This makes the device less sensitive, and the idea being the closer you are to the radio frequencies, the less sensitivity you need, and the more pinpoint precision you're looking for. Once you get closer and closer to the device, you're going to keep turning down the sensitivity, and retracting the antenna until hopefully you found something. You can give this a test on your wireless devices, on electrical cables around your house, things like your phone for example, or an iPad, and see how it works. Now one thing a lot of people do wrong is they lead with the detector and not the antenna. You want to follow with the antenna and use that as the focal point, not the actual device itself. All of the radio waves are being intercepted by the antenna, so if you follow with the antenna, the greater the chance you'll have to find any hidden devices that may be around you. Now detecting hidden cameras with the McHugh is a little bit easier and to be honest a little bit more fun as well. There are six laser lights on the back of this device and when you hit the laser button on the front, those lights turn on and what they're supposed to do 
is highlight any small camera lenses that may be around if you look through the red circle in the middle of the device. You can see it in action when I use it on my iPad here and see how quickly and brightly it illuminates the lens that, that you probably wouldn't see if this were hidden in a room or hidden in a device like a smoke detector. Although you can use the hidden camera detector in any lighting, it tends to work better and be easier to use when it's in a poorly lit room or a completely dark room. Any camera lenses are going to be much more highlighted so they'll be easier for you to see. If you're in a bright room it's not quite as easy but if you really want to get the bug sweep done as soon as you get into an apartment and don't want to wait for darker conditions then go ahead and use it with full light. It will still work. You'll just have to be a little bit more careful in seeing and detecting camera lenses. Okay, so some of the things I don't like about the McKay bug tool is that sometimes the detection threshold is very low. So it'll start to beep or it'll start to increase and then decrease very quickly and it's really hard to know that if it was just your imagination. So the beeping will increase slightly for just a split second and it's really difficult to tell what actually triggered the tool to go off. The camera detection though works really well. I was able to use it on a lot of uh, small camera pinpoints and it found all of them. It actually made it very easy to find. It's got a rechargeable battery which is very useful so you don't need any extra AAA or AA batteries. Uh, it's very small and it's very very lightweight so at $25 if you really want to search your Airbnbs or your hotel rooms for bugs this might be a good entry device to carry around with you and to test and maybe have a little bit of fun using around your own house uh, to play around with. I'm going to leave a link to this in the description below and if you like this video please hit the thumbs up button and if you really like this video, please subscribe to the channel. I'll have new videos for you every week. And I'm going to do a full bug sweep of an apartment. So if you want to make sure not to miss that video, you can also hit the subscribe button and the little bell next to it, which will notify you when I have new videos up. Thanks very much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. The camera detection works very, very well. I'm the camera detection works very, very well. As you, as you can, the camera detection works very, very well. As you can see, uh, all the camera detection works very, very well. As you can see, um, the camera detection does a very good job of the camera. <laughs>